greatest measure of success for a piece of software is when it feels seamless, when it feels invisible, when it just it plugs into the person that's using it and it helps them to do what they need to do. And then you get done and you don't even really know that you've been using something. The ultimate validation of that is the 90 plus percent customer satisfaction rating that we have. It's the list of very satisfied, very happy partners that Lean Logistics has. I'm Derek Fricano. I am the uh, user experience and user interface developer here at Lean Logistics. always wanted to make sure that we're building the best software for our customers. If I'm somebody that's brand new to transportation planning, how do I come into this application and have it make sense to me? We are always looking for the ways to refine the Lean TMS to make it the best experience. I see every piece of feedback that we get. We've heard a lot of feedback specifically surrounding things like load planning. The look and feel of the application itself is going to change. Making workflows more apparent by guiding you to controls that have better visibility. One of the things that we're going to be trying out in the redesign of our transportation planning tool is going to be more of a focus on those manual manipulative workflows, like dragging shipments into create loads, dragging loads onto a map to see how do these individual stops weave together into an overall series of stops and deliveries. It feels more natural to be able to pull things around and combine and shift them than it does necessarily keying things and hoping that you've pushed the right button to enable the right action. One of the things that's the most unique about my job and about working with Lean Logistics is that I have access to 100 users of our product every day. They're using the technological solutions that, that Lean Logistics provides. Every day they're in the Lean TMS, planning loads, responding to their customers, responding to their shippers, fielding phone calls, and really you know, sort of using the software in that really time sensitive fashion that you just can't really simulate in a laboratory. And I'll take notes and just make observations on what screens are they accessing, what are they doing, what are the other things that are maybe distracting them, are they going out and checking their email, are there phone calls that need to be serviced along with it, do people have sticky notes that are documenting specific parts of the process or things, shortcuts that we might be able to build into the software. And then from there, we go into the mode of really just trying to diagram out what the task flow is, step by step. Thinking about it, not in terms necessarily of, well, I go from this screen to this screen to this screen, but really focusing instead on, well, what is the problem that I'm trying to solve? What is, at what point do I know that there's something that I need to do? And then what are the steps that I go through to actually get to completion? We want to make sure that we are delivering the absolute best set of tools based on those users' needs. And so it's, it's a really exciting place to be Like as we continue to evolve products like Parcel, products like Fleet. I think the way that the Lean TMS has evolved over the more than decade that it's been in service has been at its core the needs that arose by observing all of our customers, by responding to our customers' needs. We truly are listening to the voice of the customer, uh, whether it's through the, the feedback that they provide explicitly, whether it's through observation of the, the data of how people are using the application. Our customers are helping us to create a better product.